A former member of the German parliament, he also participated in the Bundestag election of 2021 with his own party, Team Todenhofer. He joins us now from Munich. Thank you so much indeed for your time, Jürgen. I don't think I've done justice to how big this scandal is. I'm not sure if the world understands how huge it is. Can you put it into perspective for us? It is so huge that people in Germany didn't really realize what happened. It is the watchdogs didn't realize what happened, what we call the BaFin, controlling the financial transactions. And I think we have a problem. The state agencies are not very well informed about what is happening in digital life. I think they have problems with their iPhones, with their iPads. These are people who have learned to, to do other things. And so the BaFin, which is the controlling, the watchdog of all financial companies in Germany, didn't realize anything, though that the Financial Times wrote again and again that there is fraud, probably fraud. They didn't realize. They attacked even on legal ways. They attacked the New York Times, not the New York Times, the Financial Times. And the blamage the, is, is so big that I, I, I said that the agencies, the state agencies, have no idea about digital life. But our government hasn't neither any idea about digital life. And this means that our former finance minister, Scholz, who is now chancellor, was reported that there's something wrong. But he, he didn't know to control it himself. So he suggested to our former chancellor, Merkel, to accept this company, Wirecard, and to go to the, the Prime Minister Xi Jinping in China and to tell him this is our best company, please, please look at it. And he made propaganda for this company. He is now Chancellor, so he has no idea about digital things. And we have really the problem, it's a generation. Yeah, uh, two banks in the Philippines who were thought to hold the money, said they'd never been Wirecard clients. When we left you, you were saying to us that basically it seemed to you as if the German government, the German financial regulator, didn't actually understand the digital world. And you were very right, I believe, to point out that the financial regulator, Buffin, when the Financial Times was writing articles about saying that there's fraud in this company, Wirecard, Buffin, the financial regulator, started to investigate the journalists rather than Wirecard. It's utterly bizarre how there were so many series of failings. And you must, re again, I repeat myself, realize that the f the now our Chancellor Schulz was finance minister. He recommended Wirecard and Merkel, our former Chancellor, recommended Wirecard to the leader of China. So there is an incredible incompetence in, in our country. And this is one of the reasons why they didn't realize that this company just didn't exist. It, it was a company created by criminals, a gang of criminals, and they were so tough that our so-called specialists didn't realize that we had been cheated by criminals. And they made propaganda for this company. Yeah, absolutely, because Angela Merkel, as you say, she went to China and she uh, talked up uh, the, uh, the company Wirecard. Uh, Marcus Brown, the former CEO who's on trial, should really be joined in the dock by his number two, but his number two disappeared very shortly after the company declared insolvency. Some people are supposing that he might be in Russia, but he's certainly on the run. And where the trial is taking place is in an underground courtroom which, correct me if I'm wrong, is usually reserved for what? Serious sort of crime like terrorism? Yeah, yeah. Usually, yes. I, I don't know why they make this trial. I'm a former judge against terrorists, too. For a short time, I was judge against a Red Army fraction uh, terrorist. So I don't understand why they needed 
this underground, this big underground room. So they took the decision. They don't didn't want to to much publicity. Maybe they were fearing that he could run away. It's it's an amazing story, and I would say it is a shame also for our country. It is. I'm not proud about what happened with yeah. Wirecard, and Wirecard was so successful. Yeah, you're not the first German to say that it's actually a disgrace upon the German nation. It really is indeed. something. Jürgen, thank you so much indeed, and especially for waiting to talk to us some more about this quite incredible story. Jürgen, And good Herfer. luck and take the right decision as far as NATO is concerned. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jürgen. Take care. Thank you very much. Goodbye.